Oh lord, one of these wannabe movement kings. What the fuck is you doing all that movement for like you did something? <laughs> He's so ass. How many? Uh, two people on me. Get him, 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 Bullet. Oh! Oh my god! You want, you want this? You want this? I'm not here. No, you good. Mom, yeah. No, no, it's not. bitch. Chinatown, Chinatown. You got a minute time out. Bye, die to this fucking 21 seconds. <laughs> Kelly O'Lenny, so damn weak. It's just throwing stuns. I love it. I want to do This nigga is making me crouch.
fade, can you be obese? Yo, what's good? It's Jayvert, and today I got to talk about an updated Warzone settings video. I've been getting so many comments about what settings do I run, what sense, my dead zones, all that. So, you know, I had to just drop the video for y'all. And since Rebirth just came out, a lot of people want to know, like, how am I breaking cameras? How am I aiming so good? All that, all that. So, I'm going to be showing y'all that in this video. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment the loadout you are using right now currently in Warzone. But other than that, I'm stop yapping. Let's get into these settings. All right, so as y'all can tell from the title, I am on a PlayStation 5, and I use a default PlayStation 5 controller. A lot of people think I'm using like a Battle Beaver or a Scuff controller, but no, I'm just using a normal, generic Walmart pink PS5 controller, and I don't even play Claw. So here is my button layout. And also, as the video goes along, feel free to copy all the settings that I'm showing y'all on the screen. I'm gonna try to go slow for y'all. So yeah, just feel free to copy them. My dead zone inputs. If you have stick drift, I recommend you changing the right stick or the left stick minimum. Churn is up higher until your stick drift goes away. Mine is on two, as y'all can see right here, because I don't have any stick drift and I like to, um, this is like my favorite setting i always use in every call of duty l2 and r2 these are the triggers put these to zero so you don't have to press it down as hard for your gun to shoot and so you can ads faster so put those both to zero aiming as i know i play 2020 and 1.35 ads the reason i like 1.35 ads is because i like flicking on the targets like left right very very fast it looks good in clips and i, I just got like used to it because i've been playing it for so long but if you never play high sense, I recommend you starting at like whatever sense you're at and try to work your way up slowly. Say you're at 10, 10, I don't recommend you going to, from 10 to straight to 20 because your aim is kind of going to be all over the place. But I mean, if you're good enough to do that, you can do it, but I really don't recommend it. And whatever your ADS is, say you're at one, just do the same thing, just slowly work your way up. Aim response curve type. I play dynamic because I feel like this is the best for high sensitivity players. Linear, I feel like it's the best from like that 10 to 15 sensitivity range. And standard, I feel like it's the best for like 10 or lower from like 4-4 four, four to 9 cents. I recommend you playing standard. So standard, 4 to 9 cents, linear 10 to 15, and dynamic 16 plus. Target aim assist, I got it on default. I've just never tried any. I know Black Ops used to be good, but I'm pretty sure they nerfed it like a while back. So I think default is just the best right now. Automatic sprint, I have automatic tactical sprint on. This just allows you to move like as fast as possible without pressing down on your left stick. So all you gotta do is move your left stick forward. You don't have to press down, so that's really how you move as fast as possible with the least amount of physical effort. Slide slash dive behavior, I have it on hybrid. I used to have slide only, but I feel like hybrid is more responsive for me and it allows you to dolphin dive as well. So if you like dolphin diving, you can use hybrid. It's basically slide only, but you can just dolphin dive with it. I don't really dolphin die that much, but it still just feels more responsive than slide only.
All right, my graphic settings. This is another question that I get a lot of people asking me. So I'm gonna be showing y'all. On demand texture streaming, I have it on. As y'all can see. Word motion blur and weapon motion blur, turn these both off. Film grain, turn this all the way down to zero. If you have it on, it just makes the game look like, like ass, I'm not gonna lie. Depth of field, turn this off. Fidelity cast, turn this on. It gives you more vibration and more like sharpness, saturation, all that. So make sure that's on and make sure it's on 100. FOV 120, obviously. ADS field of view affected and weapon field of view default. Don't put any of these other ones on because it makes it just looks bad. Third, I don't play third person. First person and third person camera moving, make sure this is on 50. My brightness is 51. And also, if you go to your monitor settings or your TV, whatever you play on, turn your saturation to the max. That's what I have mine on. So that's why it looks so good when I'm playing it and when I upload it, it looks like good too. So if you don't want the map to look gray and all that, just turn your saturation on the max to whatever you play on. Audio mix, I got headphones, bass boost. I've been using this since Warzone 1, so I feel like it's just the best for me. Master game volume. Master game volume, you make sure master game volume is always lower than effects because master game is like the whole game in general, but effects is the footsteps, the gunshots, all that. So make sure this effects is louder than master game so you can hear the footsteps way, way more clear. I have dialogue set to 12 because I don't like the announcer screaming in my ear when I'm trying to focus on the game. Screaming enemy precision airstrike loud at the top of their lungs in my ear. So I had this turned down. Uh, cinematic turn to zero, all that. Voice chat volume has 16. I don't, I actually just turn it lower because people in game chat are way too loud. I'm not gonna lie. Turn this to whatever you um, think is good for you. I have it low because I don't like people in game chat in my clips and stuff. So My interface settings, feel free to copy all of these. All right, so that's the end of my sentence. If you made it this far, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And comment also, what video do you want to see me make next? Because I got a lot of ideas, but I want to hear from y'all. Like, what specifically do you want to see me make? But other than that, I love y'all. Roll to 20K. I'm out. Peace.